Hello everybody, it's your favorite boy, Mario Kava here. And okay, I'm not gonna try to steal Supergirl's intro. <laughs> Man, I am still suffering from that Cody drinking game last night. You know, Senpai stream, Cody from Anime Outsiders was on. I said, take a drink every time Cody mentions Gamergate in... Ugh. I had to leave before I lost my liver. <laughs> anyway. This is my other attempt at doing the screen cap stuff. And, huh, bounding into comics just showed me something I didn't expect. Well, I should have, because today's woke culture, bleh. Anyway, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled removes trophy girls from victory screens. In a recent preview of the upcoming Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled appears to indicate the aptly named trophy girls will no longer appear in the results screen following a race. In the original release, Crash Team well, Racing. Upon completing a race, players would be presented with a short cutscene which allowed it showed the top three racers in respective positions in the championship podium. These short cutscenes would also feature one of four trophy girls, Isabella, Ami, Magumi, and or Liz, all named individuals involved with Naughty Dog Games. Who would present the podium and specifically the winning race c racer to the players, Trophy Girl's appearances can be seen in this video by YouTuber Cast Coder, which features every victory screen that can be seen in Crash Team Racing. Sorry to puff a cigarette. Yet in the preview of Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, hosted by developer Beanox and uploaded to the official PlayStation YouTube account, the victory Screens appear to have been redesigned to remove the fan favorite characters. While discussing the complexity and details of the new podium animations, viewers are greeted to an updated podium screen which features a spinning trophy in place of the lively animated trophy girls, which can be seen at the link at 905 in the time code video below. I'm not going to play the video because copyrights. The decision to remove the trophy girls from the podium screen is reminiscent to the real world ban on grid girls enacted by the Formula One group ahead of the 2018 season. Though the Formula One group stated this custom does not resonate with our brand values and clearly is at odds with modern societal social norms, many grid girls criticized the ban for words of grid girl Melissa James saying we need protection that we're so vulnerable when we're not. As of writing, no reason, no reason has been publicly given by Sony, Beanox, or Naughty Dog. Need a drink of water. Okay, trying this again. As of writing, no reason has been publicly given by Sony, Beanox, or Naughty Dog for why the trophy girls have been removed from the podium screens. It's also unknown whether the girls have been removed entirely from the game. Crash Team Nitro Fueled will be released by June 21st for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Okay, personally, I see no problem with it. All right. I see no problem with anim with fictional anthropomorphic race girls in a k game from the PlayStation 64 era. The reason I left out Sega is because come on, we had the Saturn then the Dreamcast. With the Dreamcast being the most memorable of the two. But yeah. Hell, even said right around here that 
They were all named after individuals involved with Naughty Dog Games at the time. These fictional bandicoots surrounding Crash make him look like a total harem coon right now. Are tributes to people involved with Naughty Dog at the time. And you could probably try to say, well, what if they didn't want to be remembered via this? All I can say is, if they had a problem with it, they would have complained back then. But this is what woke, yeah, woke culture does. Woke, woke. Why do I keep wanting to say woke instead of woke? But yeah, this is what woke culture does, people. It ruins our childhoods. It ruins what we remember. Hell, I may end up getting the game anyway because I never had a chance to enjoy the original. It was 2000 before I even had a Nintendo 64. And heck, I got the PlayStation a few years later. After the two had been out for a long time. So yeah, so I gotta say, well I wish I could say, go woke, go broke, but childhood nostalgia sells, okay, it sells. So there's nothing we can really do other than try to, I don't know, complain, tweet it, Facebook. Use some sort of platform to use our grievances. Yeah, man, what's wrong with my mouth? Our grievances about this. This is Mario Kaiba signing off, nerds. <laughs>